Good morning, my name is Matthew Stones, I work at Axel Technologies. Today I'm making a short video showing how to connect an Axel Model 80 ThinkLight terminal to Microsoft Remote App using the Secure Gateway feature. So I'll rattle through the menus, keyboard I will set to English, I will leave the terminal name as is, I will enable the VNC remote control, the resolution and colour mode I will leave. I will leave DHCP enabled as opposed to setting a static IP address. Session type is Microsoft. Connection type would be Remote App Desktop. The server URL I shall enter here HTTPS colon slash slash and the rest of it. There are no printers currently connected, no memory sticks connected. There's a brief resume of what we've configured and I will confirm that and reboot. Okay, so we're prompted to authenticate ourselves. And we now have our icons. So we're now connected to the gateway server, which is just delivering us the actual icons. If we click on the icons, then we'll be directed to the terminal server behind the gateway server for a secure connection. Now what I'll do is I'll refocus the camera on the top left corner so you can see exactly what is shown on the screen during that connection process. Okay, I'll log ourselves in and hopefully the camera will stay focused and you can see what is displayed in the top left corner. So here we have our icons. So now we've just established a connection to the gateway server over HTTPS. We now click on, well let's click on the remote desktop icon. So we're now connecting to the terminal server behind the gateway using RDP. And there we are connected. Once connected, if you pull the cursor to the bottom of the screen and wait a few seconds, an auto hidden taskbar pops up and if you click on the blue icon on the far left, you go back to your desktop from where you can click on another application to open up a second or third or fourth application. When you have multiple applications open, again if you pull the cursor to the bottom of the screen, you, the taskbar pops up and then you can then click on the tab to open up that particular application. There's also a shortcut key, you can press Alt F1 or Alt F2 or Alt F3 and Alt F4 depending how many applications you have open at one time. I'll now share some of the options available to, to control the desktop. So entering setup, control, alt escape. If we go into sessions, the remote app desktop. Uh, in authentication you can pre-enter a username a password if you want and also the domain. You can also on desktop parameters you can specify what is displayed on the desktop. So for example you can configure it to let's say to display desktops only and if I save that when we connect We now just get the desktop icon, we don't get the application icons. And to take it one step further, sessions, remote app, desktop, desktop parameters. If there is just one resource or one icon on the desktop, we can configure to auto run that. So now, if we connect We saw the single icon flash up there, but straight away we connect to the RTP session, to the desktop. And similarly, we could configure 
desktop parameters to just display applications. It now doesn't make sense to auto exec one application, so I'll turn that off. So if we connect now, we just get the applications and not the desktops. I'd like to show you just one more feature. If you open up a connection, and press the following keys, Control, Alt, Shift, I, then a diagnostic window pops up. And this does give the key information about the actual connection. So it's not looking at the terminal configuration or the server configuration, it's looking at the actual RTP connection itself. So if things don't work as expected, then that's often a good place to start to look to see what's gone wrong. So I hope you found that video interesting. If you have any questions, please contact your local Axel office. Our details will follow after this video. Thank you very much and bye for now.